So I'm here on the south coast of Norway and these small islands that are off the coast of Norway uh, show some great examples of two different types of geologic features. If we start with the rocks, uh, we can see that mainly the rocks here are uh, granites and gneisses and other metamorphic rocks and these are what we sometimes call basement rocks. These rocks have formed uh, miles below the earth's surface. Uh, right in front of me here is a pink uh, dike, what we call a pegmatite dike, that contains big white pods of quartz, uh, some black chunks of biotite, and then a lot of the pink in there is potassium feldspar. <clears throat> and these dikes formed as uh, the uh, existing rock was fractured and then magma moved through that fracture and then cooled and solidified resulting in this rock with very large crystal sizes. Just fantastic exposures all over this little island here. Um, these rocks are about two or so billion years old. These form the, the deep cratonic rocks of this part of Scandinavia uh, and similar rocks can be found on other continents as well. Um, <clears throat> the other big feature to observe here are these elongated grooves and troughs you can see. So this landscape is pretty rounded. The rocks here, even though they're very hard resistant rocks, they've been rounded somewhat. Uh, and your first, your first inclination might be to think that that's wave action. And although the wave action has probably modified this somewhat, most of these elongated grooves and these rounded domes you see on the rocks here are actually the result of glaciers. So during the last ice age, glaciers from the uh, inland part of Norway moved down to the coast. Sea level was much lower then, so the coast was probably several miles or maybe tens of miles south of here. And these glaciers rode across this landscape, scoured the rocks, uh, left polished stri striations in places, and uh, greatly modified this landscape. So this, is ha this area has um, been extensively sculpted by the work of ice during the last 10,000 years. So it's an interesting contrast between the very, very ancient old basement rocks and the much more recent event with the glaciers modifying the landscape. Simply fascinating.